Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, mic's too far away. Hey guys. So by the time this video is out, the ban list has dropped uh, yesterday and I took a little time to digest it, really get my thoughts on it. And I just want to share them with you guys uh, in full here. Rather than doing a ban list reaction, I wanted to take the time to kind of take this list in, do a little bit of testing with friends, bounce a little bit of ideas off people and really get their thoughts on it too, to see collectively what people think of the format and maybe what we'll be seeing moving forward. I'm gonna go over the list with you guys and I'm gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts about it and what you might see moving forward. Uh, all together though, uh, if you just want the TLDR of my thoughts, I really, really, really like this list. I definitely think getting a nuke to the format was much needed after the prior list and I think they did a stellar job of this. A lot of people wanna point out the things that they missed, like, ow, they didn't hit Buster Whelp or something like that. Whatever, I think the format is great. They they adjusted so many things that needed to be addressed, and I am so elated about it. Also, if you're watching this video, I can take a look at my YouTube analytics. Look at this, dude. Almost 50% of you aren't subscribed. Come on, fix that right now. Hit that button right now. Now, I honestly promise you won't be disappointed. Don't ask the comment section, and I, oh, don't ask my Twitch chat especially, man. Oh, they can't be trusted. They don't know anything at all. The first one that's popping up there is Block Dragon, dude. Oh my god, thank god this card is gone. Every time I stream against Adam Mancipator, the one bane of my existence is Block Dragon. Unless you have the call by the grave for the Block Dragon, that Adam Mancipator deck, it just didn't matter if you broke their first turn board. They were gonna do it again to you, and that was the most horrifying thing. If you watch the remote though live, stream some of the games were just one off the back of block dragon being able to get it back the, the holy top deck block dragon it just happens it wasn't even the ad emancipator deck that was oppressive it was just block dragon but even with block dragon gone that ad emancipator deck is still very much in the meta even with all the other cards forbidden or limited from it which we'll get to in a minute but the fact that block dragon's gone now that ad emancipator deck the whole gist of it is i'm going to make my first turn board if you can out it i am just going to be very upset and not have a way to come back so Block Dragon Band, I'm super, super happy about it. I think it was a long time coming. I've been an advocate for this card going to zero for the longest time. Other ones, we got Jet Synchron Band and Mega Phantom Beast O-Line also banned. Oh boy, it's nice. So any of these Synchron decks actually still have full combo with a card like Plague Spreader Zombie. This is what they've moved to because Plague Spreader Zombie Normal Summon is still full Synchron, quote Synchron combo. By the end of the combo, you're still ending on Borload Savage, Herald of Pure Light off of one card, but now the Plague Spreader Zombie actually stacks the cards to your top of your deck, so you don't get the advantage of being able to discard them. And Eldritch, that was huge on its own because if you could pitch an Eldritch Speller Trap, during the end phase, or if it was an Eldlixer, you could just banish it and get the advantage back. But after a little bit of adjustments with the combo, you can do it with just Plague Spreader Zombie, and the end of it, you're going to be bringing back Plague Spreader Zombie twice, so it's going to be two cards at the top of your deck. It's a little less appealing. And I also told my friend, it wasn't Jet Synchron that made the one card combo so good, it was the fact that Jet Synchron was searchable with tuning, actually. You don't have a way to get to Plague Spreader Zombie, except by just hard drawing it, and if you want to play like the Uni Zombie and everything, you can do that too. But uh, Jet Synchron was searchable by tuning and tuning was sick too because tuning could just donk off an Eldlixer or donk off a Golden Land. So now that you don't have a searchable way to get your combo, uh, you might either have to play more ways to make that combo, which of course takes more cards into your deck. Playing that Unizombie or you're playing the Deskbot 003 to get the same combo, those are more cards you're going to have to do instead. And I I'm really okay with that. I think Jet Synchron was the problem. Uh, and now even Plague Spreader is still full combo, but it's like, yeah whatever go ahead you can do it if you opened it you opened it and if i got a way to stop it whoops sorry bucko it's gonna hurt that's actually all that was forbidden i'm super happy with it i wouldn't even have banned buster whelp i'm okay with it being in the format you can play your alti cosmic cyclone and everything it's still okay very good forbidden section moving on to the limited we have double iris magician back at one this is something that i say sure you know with electromite band uh, i'm sure triffle figure something out but it's just not as oppressive double iris magician just doesn't seem like it has the impact as it did back in the day especially at one it does not seem as crazy as having it at three and then you look over here the phantom knights of rusty bardish is at one rather than zero i Whoa. This was the actual first thing on the list that blew my fucking mind. A lot of people were speculating that this card would come back with the new Phantom Rage set coming out to, you know, boost up those Phantom Knights and everything. And I looked at them and I was just like, you do realize how good of a card Rusty was, right? Rusty was a fucking scary card, dude. And it's now back at one. It's not just gonna buff those Phantom Knights. I don't 
don't give a shit about those new Phantom Knights we're getting. The fact that this card is so good in any Dark Warrior variant, or it's so good in actually unironically Orcist, it's scary. I immediately started brewing combos with Orcist, and I think just off of Scrap Recycler, you can end on IP Verde Anaconda Dragoon with Rusty. And set in the back row, you have, of course, the rank of magic and a fog blade. I'm gonna summon Dingirsu on your turn, and I'm going to make true king of all calamities in my Orcist deck again. And it feels so good because that combo is so oppressive. Now with the Dragoon on the field, too, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's not even the extent of it. There's so many other decks that can utilize this card and this card is just an absolute value machine i don't know if i'm scared or excited to see what people come up with this card i think i'm more leaning towards scared because i just know the power of this card when it was legal and uh, now that it's actually back at technically full power with the rank up legal as well uh, it's going to be a bloodbath moving on called by the grave is at one this this really stumps me i don't think anybody understands why this card is at one and we saw uh triple t kind of take its place with the oh here i'll show you triple tactics even though it's not a complete one-to-one -one replacement uh it's kind of taking the spot of it if you look people are selling it uh hundred dollars I, I i doubt this one's available somebody's already probably bought it but if somebody has it though hey look 69 bucks that's not even bad nice but 100 bucks for triple t that's kind of the replacement people are looking at i kind of think this is a uh look at we're going to get cross out designator and maybe maximum gold soon cross out designator is a card we've been waiting for like i think two years or something like that now if we finally have it it's a really good replacement for called by the grave having it at one i'm less worried cross out designator calling like Cyframe gear gamma or nibiru is sick and i think it's actually kind of better than called by the grave but having called by the grave at one it feels like what they did with semi limiting it a while ago i have a feeling this card will creep back up to three uh, if not the next list over time and then harpy's feather duster is back at one it has been i think 13 years since this card has been forbidden it's finally back at one and listen to me carefully it is going to do jack shit <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty sick side deck card i don't think people are going to main deck it because most of the decks in the format aren't going to be playing heavy back row unless eldlich pops up and claims its uh, position as the definitive best deck of the format somehow because of the fact that they just weren't hit at all maybe they're synchron engine but they can still adapt to it if they come and just start smashing teeth in sure people might main the feather duster but it's just a nice side deck card to have that side deck is going to look extra scary against back row decks with three lightning storm one feather duster and one red reboot whoa baby this card was honestly a long time coming and i should have saw it and i should have picked up my feather duster before it went up in price and honestly you should have too what else is limited nothing that's it on to the semi-limited things that have gone to two seer and graph have gone to two bro Farfa must be having a goddamn aneurysm. I was actually super shocked to see these two come back to two because the tour guide's back at three. Oh, spoiler alert. It's not like it's on the screen or anything. You can't play Block Dragon BA, but Cherubuni is a pretty good card. And I'm sure BA is going to find a way to adapt to that and find out some pretty cool combos with Graph and Seer. Well, I mean, they already exist, but having them at two now, you can do it again. I think the one more impactful was having Seer at two than Graph because Seer was the scary one being able to bring back that Dante for more advantage. Do I think it's going to make Burning Abyss tier one? Not really, but I do think it's a really much needed thing to see them come back. I can't wait to see this deck at full power again. ABC Dragon Buster is back to two. Sure. And then Totally Awesome is back to two. Sure. I don't really see these individually doing too much. It's nice to have Totally Awesome back to two for Paleozoic and Frogs. And ABCs, oh boy, you got your Dragon Buster two. Just watch next list. It's going to be back at three. I guarantee it. And then on to the threes. Makiar the Destructor is now off the list and it was forbidden. I honest to God don't even know what the errata is for this card. Let's find out together. Okay. What's it do? If this card is sent from the monster zone of the graveyard, you can activate this fast. Once during this turn, you can activate a trap card from your hand. Whoa, dude, that's crazy. Actually, just a garbage card now. It is a long stretch from what it used to be. Sure, it can come back to three. Why not? Tour guide from the underworld at three. I already said, pretty sick for BA. Farfa has the biggest boner right now. It is unbelievable. Gust Kraken is back at three from one. This card is pretty cool being able to rip apart the hands of opponents in a Gishki deck. The thing that I like to bring up though is back in the day, our only out for this Gishki hand loop was I think Effect Veiler. But now we effectively have so many cards, not in the format, but just the game in general to deal with stupid loops like this that I don't really see this thing coming back. Well, I mean, coming back in the meta, it's back at three now, but I, I don't see 
Gishki's doing anything in today's game. I don't know, maybe somebody will prove me wrong though, and Gus Kraken will just be that dude. But when I imprim your Gus Kraken, you get a little bit upset. If you do it to me again, maybe I might just have the second hand trap, and you're gonna get even more upset. Pantheism is back at three, dude. Pantheism is sick. Monarchs are back at three. I was looking at ulti Karazes, and they were like 25s before the list. I was like, yo, that's too low. As soon as Pantheism comes back any day now, that card's gonna skyrocket, and well, let's find out. I'm sure it did. Whoa, weird. It's like the only near mint copies on TCG player are 48 bucks strange I hated domain monarchs back in the day so I'm actually kind of scared to see what they do now but hey maybe it's just a thing of the past maybe they just aren't at the level they are but I think pantheism at three dude pantheism at three is scary this card is so good dude it's like pot of greed it's like that good yo with pantheism at three sealed only monarchs looks fucking horrifying dude what a fucking deck and then one that I'm happy about sky striker mecha widow anchor is also at three now I honestly saw this coming too as long as engages man short we can have widow anchor at three I still think it makes actually strikers even a little bit better of a deck. They were already good before, but hey, thanks for the third Widow Anchor, bro. That S0 just still doesn't look as good. Right, altogether, like I said, I love this list, dude. I think they did a great job with it. Decks I think you'll be seeing a lot of are Eldlich. I still think you'll see Adam Mancipator a lot. Orcist, of course. Infernobles are still at full power, as well as Dragon Link. Those two things weren't addressed in the lights. Oh my god, Infernobles can actually probably find a way to utilize the, uh... The Bardish, huh? Oh boy. I think Dragon Link's gonna stomp on the format, especially with no time frame of how long this format's gonna be. We don't even know if we'll get this list at this time. Uh, if we get the Arm Dragon stuff, God forbid, I, I really don't think we'll get it by then, but if we get Arm Dragon stuff before then, oh boy, that deck just gets even better. And the new Brio card in that deck too. Oh my god, you guys read that new Brio card? <laughs> you, what else will you see? You'll probably see Burning Abyss, I'm sure. You'll see the Monarchs, you'll see the Strikers. I honestly don't think anything was actually knocked out of the format. I just think things were adjusted to be more fair. I think there's going to be like several decks in the format that are really completely viable and actually super scary. I'm really excited to see how this shakes up. Right, I don't know how to really end this video. I'm going to get back to work on Sealed Only 2. Uh, see you in the next one.